Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner. You join us in the dam. Today we are setting out to try and uncover and uh, scout out as much of the dam as possible. I was going to look at maybe hitting a few of the scout focused tasks. But I think we'd be better off just getting everything uncovered at the minute. Find them where everything is and hopefully grabbing a few upgrades. So that's going to be our plan. Now I felt sure that we started our day, or finished our day, sorry, as the sun was coming up. It was getting bright. But as we've uh, come in, I'll show you, as we've come in, and it's only half past 12. But we definitely ran for about an hour. So, what's going on with the time, I don't know. So this might be a slightly longer episode, because I want to get that back on track so it's early morning when we finish. Oh dear. This is some thick mud we have here. We've got a little bit of movement. Or have we? We may not have. If we give it the old wiggle technique. We might find we get moving again. I should have stayed further over, either to the right or to the left. I'd forgotten about how much mud there was here. Do you reckon we can sling a winch out forwards? Or oh, that oh Not good at all, that. If I can get it just to move me. There we go. Just so we can get some traction, please. There we are. We're out. Not a big fan of just slinging the winch out, but... Sometimes you've just got to <laughs> throw and hope. But seeing a struggle there is making me wonder whether we're going to be able to get across here. And whether we should actually try and go back the other way and find a different route across to the map. Because we want to find the upgrades. Because we want all the upgrades we can get for the GMC, for let's have a look over here for the uh, Fleet Star, and eventually for the White Western that's available here as well. Let's see how we do. No, I don't think this is going to go very well. I mean, it's going to be a what I call a Spider-Man job. Gets you across, though. We're going to have a lot of trouble, though. We're going to be mindful of fuel. Although we've got those extra refills, obviously, with the fuel capacity soon wear out if we're chucking the winch out and, and doing such things. So this one is Lost Bags, so that's going to drop some crates out on the map. And if we... Uh, that should have registered the trailer for a few extra XP there. If we can go where it looks dry, we're all right. So then from here, we go down. 
I was thinking we could go up there. There is another spot up there that has a con like a contract task. But I don't think that's one that we'd be able to do yet anyway, so we can gather that up later on. When we hit the outposts, obviously those contracts or the lookout towers, all those jobs become visible. It's just it's nice to have them triggered. A little divot sent me over. But hopefully with a slightly longer episode we'll be able to get plenty done. Unless we cycle it through so we start doing midnight till midnight. Now I think I'm going to go here, because that looks horrific. And here we have the repair the truck job. So if we had a, a larger truck, we'll be able to pull the uh, the repair trailer along. We'll just be able to fix that up, and thus all that is on that job. You don't get to keep it. It's just a fix and go. How are we for fuel? Let's just top it up, I think. Yeah, we should have enough to at least get us back up across this. Ooh. Hopefully we'll be alright. That is deep. We're not getting in there, are we? By the looks of it, we're not getting out of it either. We may be able to go around. safer route. And then here, although very muddy and crappy looking, definitely a little easier. So that is the way to the lake, or Lake Island. So we're going to go right here, I believe. Oh, perhaps we should have gone up, because it's now, it's now triggered in my memory. The the job or the task that I said was in the other direction would have been just to find this antenna here. That's annoying. I can't remember these things as I go. That was a little bit late. I have, I have mentioned my poor memory once or twice before, I believe. So this one is the little scout job. So there's the Michigan Trail. Now we possibly be able to do that with our scout. But we're mindful of fuel at the minute. 
we don't want to get caught out here. Now there is somewhere over to our right. A lookout point. I'm just gonna have to check my map. Oh, we're way past it. Oh, that's accessible from the bottom. Actually, we can probably we'll turn around and grab that. Won't be able to get through these trees. Yeah. I think if you do the trail. It pretty much takes you up past here anyway. But we'll grab it now. And then the next outpost is right off on the left hand side, but we should have an upgrade turn up before then. I think I was going this way, weren't I? Then it weaves round to the left. This feels a lot more slope than I remember. I think because the last time I did this, I hossed around in a modified uh, Ford F750 and it had no issues doing anything. As good as the Land Rover is, that is not the case. I think if we go this way... Come through a little bit early again. Definitely, because we're back on track. I think that takes us down there. I'm not as far along as I think I am. This happened before, didn't it? Back on um, Black River, I thought I was turning left to a set junction, and I was way off. Perhaps I should stop trying to go from memory, and just go by what we see. There we go, it's up there.
I knew there was one around here. And we have an engageable. And that is for the GMC. So slowly, that awful GMC. And I think it is awful. Some will say it's not. And that is perfectly fine. We're all allowed our own opinions. But I have never been a fan of the GMC and its capabilities. It's just a road truck. I'm sure in dire need, I would be grateful for it. I think here... Here I want to go left. Go of it. If we went down there, we could trigger the... Find the antenna. Oh, we're all right. we'll, we'll get that another time. When we come through with some other vehicles. Something that's a little bit more rambunctious that can just shoot up there. Or when we come back to to do the Michigan Trail. So then over on our left there will be our next outpost over there already at Lookout Tower. That crept up on us a bit quick. Hiding in them, their woods. Got another one in the bag. Right. And now it's morning. trying to think if there are any fuel tankers on this map. I know there's some in Drummond and there are a lot a lot of fuel tankers on the map in the Island Lakes Let's just get rid of that marker going off Is there a fuel tanker we can fill off on here? Bloody tree stopped my progress. <laughs> now it's proper got me. Have a little winch to get over there. I mean, it could even be time to head back to the garage and put some different tyres on. Maybe mud ones would be better. Oh, there's a fuel tanker over there, isn't there? To rescue. Now that's not going to be an easy rescue with this. But we could try it. It's going to be a lot of winch work. Give it a crack. Oh, see, the, uh, that's the uh, impassable branch I was talking about before. 
All the spruces have them. Now, if you've got enough power, because I've done it once or twice, not in every sort of scout I've been down here and done this, but if you've got enough power, sometimes... Sometimes you can drag the uh, the fuel bowser up that cliff. Not always, but sometimes. about then if we attach does that at least get me going in the direction I want to go and I now attach to that tree I can just want to get out of the out of the wet stuff please there we are. Then, oh, we've not got enough. Haven't got long enough. Winch. Okay. Slowly but surely, sort of progress. Right, we've got the trailer. Um, excuse me, going to refuel off it though. So now we just need to reach some dry earth. So we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll see if we can get up here. Getting stuck on that pine isn't going to help. Not in the slightest. We'll stay away from the spruces. Come on, we can do this. not a lot of grip on the rock but if we can get ourselves to some dirt or even if we can sling out to a tree come on find me some dirt there we go
try and get up between these. Literally gonna Spider Man ourselves up here at the minute. Back down, that is. Oh, come on, we were nearly there. It knows what tree I'm trying to aim for, it's just that I. I can't do it manually, because we'll just slide down. Come on. hate that it does that like uh, give me the tree I'm looking at if you're gonna do the whole where your aim thing now we're stuck oh there right you maybe being stuck is such a bad thing get this to pull me in the direction I want. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not how this is supposed to be going today. We're not supposed to be taking risks. Now we're all caught up on everything. Here we are. <laughs> it wasn't smooth, but that was probably still easier than trying to drag it through the wet mud. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. Trust me. So, we're not going to deliver this. This is to be delivered to the um, little house opposite the gas station, which is sort of where we're heading to. But we're going to... Come on. Honestly, scout trailers. Hate pulling trailers. I mean, this one isn't too bad. This is better than some of the others, this one, for pulling trailers. The uh, the Land Rover 109. If, once again, if we had a higher-rised 
chassis for the suspension and if we had slightly larger tyres it would be easier. That's why I'm thinking we might pop to the garage and see what we can get. I know we've not long upgraded it but since we're we're heavy in here we want to try and do as much with it as we can so we can not get stuck in situations like that. So what I'm going to do is, so it's just here, literally on the path get there. Uh, because we can, you know, drop that down to 10% before we need to worry about anything. So I think I might go and upgrade this. I might see if I can afford the the next step in the raised suspension and then if we can hopefully we'll then be able to fit the, the larger tyres underneath as well level wise we might not reach the point where we can get mud tyres for it unless this particular mod comes with mud tyres unlocked that we can get but there is the larger Humvee tyres that might work And in this garage is where our newly found Chevy should be. There it is. So, customization. Oh, repair. We, I think we need to refill our repair stock as well, don't we? Can we do that here? Or does that happen automatically? Right, so suspension we've got raised so does soft crawl is low does that sit a little bit higher for us than what we're on I think that's the same We go with that, that's half of our money. And we could sell the raised. I think we go I think we go with it. I need better clearance at the moment. We'll sell that. We'll get some, some coins back. Right then, so down for a gazillion tires. Oh, we have got some mud tyres down here. Put big mud tyres on it. I think that's what I'm going to go with. Oh, we can't afford it. We're just a little bit shy. Just a little bit shy. Oh. That is. We haven't got anything else we can sell on it, have we? What about. Hmm. We'd only get half of that back. We'd only get 200 back if we took that off and sold it. It wouldn't be enough. What if we go with the slightly bigger Hummer tyres then? Sell the small ones. And we've still got two grand left. I'm hoping that's going to help get us out there. 
Now that gives us a full repair, but we don't want a full repair. We just want to get some parts. I thought you could restock. Can you not hear? I thought that was a thing. Maybe not. No. Yeah, we're all out of repair parts. Oh, I should have restocked when we went past the trailer. No, that doesn't work either. You can't restock repair parts like that, can you? Hmm. Okay. We'll just have to be careful. So this time, we're going to head down. We're going to have to be extra careful because we are somewhat unstable now. With the extra ride height. Hopefully that will get us through some, some deeper waters and some, some deeper mud. Or it might just make us roll in about five minutes. I'm sure that's what people are waiting for. The first roll. When are we going to roll down a hill? When are we going to roll down a cliff? Not for a little while yet, I hope. Now the reason I wanted the suspension before the tyres is although we could have got bigger tyres, they would have clipped through the chassis, through the, the bodywork, and I just didn't want that look. But this should give us uh, part of the farm and an upgrade, it's now visible. We can go find that. How good are we at a bit of rock crawling and what have you now? That just gives us a bit more freedom, doesn't it? To be fair. Get around this one as well. Playing it safe, I'm afraid, people. Playing it safe. Plus, we don't want to break our, our new suspension. So the upgrade we want is just to the north. So we'll go get that. Find the right gears I want.
And here we have another engine. And this is for the Chevy, the Falcon, or we've got the Scout, uh, the Jeep, the Ford F750, and uh, the MTB, Rock Grinder. So I think next up on our list of things to go and do, we'll probably head to the farm. We can trigger a few tasks at the farm. And then, a bit quicker than that, there is another lookout just south of the farm. We can try and get to that one. I mean, we've got loads of time. It's not even nightfall yet. It's just gone dark because it's raining. I need to be careful venturing too far because fuel is a thing and I seem to be wasteful of it. If we do get stuck out here just scouting, it's not the end of the world. We can change up our plan and jump back to Black River, start unlocking some of the roads and stuff there. It just would be nice if we could get out and grab a few more upgrades and even uh, a few trucks maybe before we start to try and open everything up. Because there is another... Well, there's a couple of free trucks but there is one more that we can get that actually works from the get-go. So. All the other free trucks require a bit of work. There's the uh, the White Western Star. There's the uh, the International, which isn't really really of a great deal of use. We'll probably use that eventually. Um, stick some off-road tyres on it and a fuel tanker or something like that and have it just run on fuel. But the White Western's a good truck. I mean, I've said it many times, I'm a fan of the Western Star and the, and the Freightliner and, and stuff like that, but there's, there's a lot of people that, that will say that the the White Western is probably the best truck to get out of this map, especially sort of early game. Dodgy cameras. So where's the track out of here? Then we have to loop. I thought we could get out round the back of the farm. It made me think we could get out round the back of the farm. Again, this is why we have to have so much extra... There it is. So much extra fuel on board. Just go off on my own little adventures. A little down to our left. Do an insight to the right. gear was a bit diff. So there's our lookout tower. And then from here... I think we'll continue going west. I 
Oh, this will be fun in the dark. And if we go west, we can then hit the drilling site. We'll have a job to pick up. By the drilling site, we've then got an outpost. And then we can go from the outpost to try and pick up another upgrade. Now, I think we should be able to then get back to the farm. If I can remember the route right. Some lower gears. It's about traction, not power. He says as if he knows what he's talking about. Is if all you do is just power it down, you just end up digging a hole for yourself. That's all you do. I was contemplating shooting through them woods, but I think we'll stick to the track. Yeah, that's definitely the, be the better choice. Here we can go over the side. That's where we want to go to grab our upgrade layer. without making too much mess. Oh, there it is. Across the river. That's a good one, that. I literally have to drag that trailer into and across to the middle of the river. Way. I think we do, yeah. That's the, the better route. Quite often to hit this particular outpost, I, I normally just come in from the side and try and power across and, and, and use my winch and just drag myself through, but we'll, we'll try and come from a from an easier, drier route. Oh, whoa, 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 route and angle. Thought we were then going to go. I thought we were then about to jump back to the back river. Scouting almost got halted for a bit. I think I want to go a little bit further around. in here. A little bit easier than trying to drag yourself all the way across there. So I think now the only 
look out we haven't got see if we can rest ourselves on some rocks so we don't sink it is down here which is way up in the hills but what we're going to do is try and come out we'll go around and we'll pick up this upgrade and then from there we should be able to come up and across probably back to the farm we don't need to go this way we can grab that when we drop off here so yeah we'll try and go back the way we came why can I not oh I've literally grounded myself on that rock Oh, we'll run out of fuel, that's what it is. Okay. There we go, we're fine now. try and follow my tracks back through the trees still managed to get stuck on the immovable spruce <laughs> trying to take any sort of slope at an angle I just know I'm gonna go right, let's see if we can get to that upgrade oh as soon as you get a little bit of speed I'm gone movable spruce branches again There. Let's see if we can go around. Then we just have to stay in low gear. Tries, tries to get you to turn the diff lock off just as you know you're about to need it that that two seconds of uh, non-slip it's like nope turn off turn off turn off but you know you're going to need to turn it right back on again so let me come ooh what was that just enough to our new suspension up Don't want that one. Yeah, I'm getting stuck on everything today. Definitely need them mud tires. We need to complete some sort of job so we can <laughs> get some new tires. Hey, we're sinking in everything. Now this way it's going to be muddy. It's going to be hella muddy. I 
providing I'm going where I think I'm going, anyway. There's every chance that we're not. There's our upgrade rafter over there. I always feel like it's one of those things where it's not a race. It doesn't actually matter how quick you get there. But it's nice to feel like you're progressing. But we, we have a, an idea of what I'd like to do in the episodes each day. How far I'd like us to progress. Uh, we wasted a lot of time with the uh, the fuel bowser. Because I wasn't even sure if I was going to get that. So uh, This is for the Nestle Tri-Star when we pick that up. Andy will get there. It's just allowing it time. Sometimes just turn it off and on again. Gives it a little, a little boost. where we're burning a lot of that fuel as well. technique, although it's burying us on one side. There we go. Got some movement. Out the way, tree. See, now we know we're going to need the diff. Or get the wind shell as well. Just try and speed it up. So that's the logging yard, or the lumber yard. Is it the logging yard? I think that's logging. And there's a trailer there. I think it has concrete on it, if I remember rightly. We're not going to go in there. We don't need to go in that way yet. 
as nice as it would be to uh, just trigger the trailers for the extra sort of 20, 30 XP. Let me start heading back this way. I'd like to get down to the actual dam. We have another upgrade down by the dam on the other side. And I think we've got another task that we can trigger that will put some fuel cases or yeah fuel barrels out on the map to pick up later as well I might as well have it all littered everywhere farm around this field whenever the fuel starts flashing up on the on the truck Always makes me think. Oh, it must be. Uh, must be time to start thinking about refilling. So going forward, so now we want to try and get. To Drummond off this complete fuel and or this lot of fuel that we have. I'm pretty certain there's not another fuel tank along the way. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hit all the upgrades though with the fuel we have. We may have to skip one, maybe two. There's three left. We might have to skip two of them. Definitely going to skip one, I think. No doubt that'll be the most important one, but we can grab that at a later date when we've got a little bit more fuel on board and we're, we're better situated to uh, really venture off into the wilderness. We'll just trigger that. And then we'll take this left track here. to do a bit of an emergency stop there and we still didn't stop. Stuck it in reverse and everything. I felt I felt the high driver getting away from me. And there we have an upgrade on our left. out by that, didn't I? 
sneaky bit of mud. And we've got engageable all-wheel drive, and that is for the Western Monster, the White Western Star, and the Western Off-Road Star. One of which is available on this map. Now, not far from us is the the fisherman's friend, is it? Where we have to rescue a fisherman's truck. I don't think we'll be trying that. I must be letting go of my left trigger too quick because I'm trying to disengage the diff. But I keep putting out the winch. Again, normally, I just hot right across here. Tracks over this way. I'll try to be sensible and take it easy. So that's the bridge over there. That's where we need to take some wooden planks. There are some on the map somewhere that we can use to, uh, to do that. I believe amongst, or throughout, sorry, all the, all four parts of Michigan throughout them will be trailers filled with pretty much all the supplies you need to complete everything. I think the only thing you'll ever need to go and pick up is uh, consumables from the farm and a little bit of uh, wood from one of the uh, logging yards. Sorry, I just got itch my eye. I do apologise. So down there's the quarry. Not looking forward to trying to do that on hard mode. <laughs> Cannot lie. I, th I think this actually would. In a trailer around there by the quarry. Not that we can pull it with this because we can't unload. Although this might connect. Now that way was be an option to try and get to an upgrade. But that would take us away from the more obvious route to the lookout tower. should be, be fine taking these short cups, short cups, short cuts up the hills. Well. 
I think we want to go left. Had the odd issue on this bridge before, with vehicles much larger, obviously. We can go up there, can't we? I think we will. That's for the lookout tower, so... Bloody branch. I remember a few years back in in Alaska, I got stuck between two spruce trees on both of those branches. One was in front and one was behind. I was recording it as well for a different, an old series, my old original theories here on YouTube. And I must have been stuck in there for ooh, a good hour. It was an absolute nightmare. Could not get out. I swore so much. So we'll look forward to that when we go to Alaska because that was a part for a, for a contract for a job. Is that not the way to it? Sorry, I just have to check my map now. Is that the way to it? Have I just missed it? I have. It's up there. There it is. I think it actually is daytime this time as well, so let's see if we can we reverse out here. We'll be able to turn here. That'd be nice. I think because I don't want to use up too much of today and this will be a longer episode now that's going to be it for this one uh, we've got a little bit further through than I thought we were going to I am just going to pause time um, we've got one more upgrade that we can collect without having to go too far so we'll try and get that at the start of the next episode and then We'll roll into Drummond and try and find our way to the garage or a fuel trailer as quick as we can. And then try and open up and unlock some of Drummond Island. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. As always, if you have, big fat thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. All that good stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.